Hi Trish, this is Hector over here at Eastgate Auto and this is your 2011 Porsche Cayenne that you have just bought. Beautiful car. I'm going to go through the inside and the outside with you. Uh, going to point out all the pros and the cons if there are any and we'll just kind of take it from there. So we're starting with the uh, outside here and uh, I'm just kind of walking through not really seeing anything of note no scratches or anything of that nature looks like that's just a little blemish there yeah looks like we do have some touch-up work done on the driver's side uh, rear door uh, but it's already been touched up so you don't have to worry about any rust or anything bubbling out from that tires are in great shape actually the tires almost look new uh, you can see here you can still see the injection moldings uh, from where the uh, where the tire was made that means the tire is pretty fresh which means that either the owner previous owner uh, or we have replaced the tires because uh, yeah pretty fresh tires there so not gonna have to worry about replacing those anytime soon oh look we got a little friend Hi, buddy. How are you? <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, look, moving on to the back of the vehicle here. Everything seems to be in good working order. There's your rear uh, backup sensors along with your um, dual exhaust. Very, very sharp car. One thing, too, about the Porsches that you'll notice, um, their fit and their finish uh, are spot on. It's actually what everybody really tries to aspire to. And you'll notice that the lines are almost seamless uh, in nature, which are real nice. Let's see if we can get this thing to open up. You do have an automatic rear hatch that opens for you. Inside, you can see freshly detailed uh, floor mats and your rear cargo area complete with spare tire you have a automatic or not automatic I'm sorry a uh, shade privacy shade for your rear hatch there we are and to close the um, hatch you can either do it by the remote which I've opened or you've got a little button up here that also shuts the hatch moving on to the side of the vehicle here you can see that uh, again more of the same no uh, dense dings uh, scratches or anything of that nature I'm going to start in the back seat on the driver's side and we're going to go from there. There's a look at your panoramic sunroof up at the top. Beige leather interior abounds. Very clean. Very, very clean. And it's real leather. And you'll understand what I mean when you actually open up the door of this thing. You'll get a big whiff. Uh, of what real uh, what real leather smells like <clears throat> so there you can see here no uh, damages or anything like that that I can see uh, of note on the interior no rips no tears or anything of that nature a little bit of disfiguration right here but could be caused by a child safety seat or something of that nature uh, but it's no rip or tear or anything of that nature. This guy right here. Oh, that's kind of cool. little ashtray. You know how those Germans like to smoke. Speaking of smoke, there is no smoke smell in the car. The car is clean. Was a non-smoker. Uh, here you can see your uh, rear air and heat. And I'm not even sure what this does. Oh, it locks the doors. Check that out. I didn't even know that. So you can lock the doors from the back seat. How cool is that? Huh. All right. Fantastic. I just learned something. 
Uh, you have a multi-speaker sound system. I uh, won't get into that. Might bore you. I'm a bit of an audiophile myself. Nice sweeping shot of your panoramic sunroof. Goes all the way to the back. Uh, very, very nice. Here's a shot of the driver's quarters and passenger quarters. Again, very clean. I'll tell you what, Chris, you got a heck of a deal on this car, I'm telling you. You got a heck of a deal because this thing is showroom ready. And I know you'll be happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and move up to the driver's side. Here you get your power windows, locks, mirrors. Um, and your mirrors, I believe, fold power too, so uh, which is quite nice. We'll get into that here in just a minute. Nine-way power seat. I'm gonna go ahead and sit into the driver's side here. And let's see if I can turn this thing on. Oh yeah. Got the tunes going already. Fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and start her up here. Press the brake. There we go. Oh, purring like a kitten. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna scoot this seat up here. Okay, so we've already gone through your driver's side door. There's a look at your lights and uh, I believe that's your parking brake, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And set that, yep, yeah, so you just push it in to set it. And then to unset, let's see here, oh, you gotta push the brake in and then lift. And that takes the parking brake out, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the rest of the vehicle here. So we've got your um, telephone or Bluetooth. That's a paddle shifter, so you can actually shift up and down uh, whilst you're driving. You don't have to use that, obviously. It's a, a um, um, an option. I think this is the volume. Yep, so you can control that right from the uh, vehicle right there. I believe that is something I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I think it's a selector. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that actually will switch uh, your sources uh, in the vehicle. Uh, so for example, like AM, FM, auxiliary port, etc. And of course the phone, that's pretty self-explanatory there. On the right hand side, uh, you can hang up your phone, you can go back, uh, or I guess your back button, and then this also is a toggle slash selector as well with your... Um, uh, Oh, okay. So to push forward goes up a gear. To push backward is to go down a gear uh, when you're talking about shifting there. So, uh, okay. So moving on here, we have your oil and temperature gauge. Uh, you can see it's got 93,575 miles. And I'll tell you, the vehicle just looks stellar uh, for that many miles. Here is your uh, phonometer, or what we call the RPMs. Um, and then of course you can see which gear that you're in. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive here. So there's your, your gear selector. And then when you put it in the manual mode, you can actually shift the gears from the steering wheel. Here you can see it shifting from one to two, etc., cetera, et cetera. So uh, that's how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back and park. There we go. And then this right here is your vehicle information center. Now you may have noticed earlier that it said that the vehicle's oil was uh, over full. Um, that happens when we change the oil, um, but uh, everything should be okay there. I'll actually mention it to the service people just to make sure, but uh, I think it's because we just, we change the oil of every vehicle that comes onto our lot. So. Um, that may be a uh, cause of that. Aside from that, you can see there's no check engine lights, no, you know, warning signals or anything of that nature uh, on the vehicle. So, uh, and then to 
switch through everything. There's your navigation. And I, the way I'm doing that is actually with this toggle switch here. Uh, when I move it up, you'll see, uh, you'll navigate through the menus uh, of the vehicle, which is quite nice actually. So um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I, I, I like that feature. But so that's how that works. And then to select something, I believe you just hit that button there. Let's see here. Okay, so that's enough. That's your NAS navigation. So anyway, so that's how that works. I'll let you uh, come to your conclusions on that. Here is your um, uh, infotainment center. And I think I smudged my lens. Give me just a second here. There we go. Infotainment center. And I believe if we put the vehicle in reverse, yep, there is your rear backup camera. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on there. CD player. And all of your bits and bobs there is your um, dual climate control system. Um, this is where you to control your air, your heated seats, passenger air. And this is your all-wheel drive select system. So um, you can do, you know, if you want to do, if you're doing mountainous terrain, um, automatic, and then if you're just doing smooth driving. Let me see if anything changes. Okay, so you got off-road mode on. Center differential lock. That's if that's, listen, you're never going to use those, okay? Um, the center differential lock, that's only an extreme off-road case, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and turn those off. Okay, so up turns the four-wheel drive on and then the center differential lock and then down brings it down to your regular all-wheel drive. So all Porsches, by the way, are all-wheel drive, uh, just so you know. Uh, and you have sport mode for when you're feeling frisky. Uh, your automatic off that actually if I'm not mistaken when you pull up to a um, red light your engine may shut off temporarily the car didn't there's nothing wrong with the car it just basically shuts itself off to conserve gas the Porsche was actually one of the first people to do that and then when you take your foot off the brake the car automatically starts back up again it's not going to do that all the time okay it's got to learn your driving habits first um, but if you don't like that feature, you can actually press that button and it will turn that option off So it never shuts off. So that's how that works Okay, so uh, You hear hill descent control uh, that makes sure that if you're going downhill you can actually set uh, so that you don't go over a certain speed and that's pretty much gonna be uh, it you do have an or and a USB um, flash drive there as well as well as an auxiliary port for power and uh, oh then of course you have all of your bits and bobs up here uh, for your park assist your lights and of course your sunroof let's see if we can get that to work as well okay so there's the shade coming so the shade works there we go. Oh, that's the garage. Let me see here. You know what? It may just be a sunroof. It may not actually open up. Instead of it actually being a moonroof. Or, I'm sorry, it is a moonroof. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, that is the vent, and I believe... If we pull back, there, there we go. You see, Trish, you have to be smarter than the car uh, in order for it to be worthwhile. Sometimes I'm just not that way. <laughs> but we figured it out. Hey, uh, I appreciate your time today. I know this was a bit lengthy video. I hope uh, I covered most of everything that you were hoping to see. Uh, if I didn't, please let me know, uh, and I will come back out here and get it for you. So, um, yeah, if there's anything else that I can do for you, please let me know. Thank you so much for your business, and we look forward to seeing you soon.